Hi everyone, welcome back to our notification tray system series. Uh, in this episode, we'll be going through the process of adding dynamically adding our notifications to our tray. Uh, in the last episode, we just set up the UI setup, nothing extra special going on there, just setting up what it's going to look like. So back to the nitty gritty of this. So on the notification tray, we need to set up the ability to us to add notifications. So let's go and go to notification tray and go to graph. And on the functions here, we're going to go and add notification. And let's say add notification, we have a input on here. Let's go add new input. And this one, we're going to say some text. Okay, so text to show. Now you could have images, you could have uh, data of all different types thrown to this. So if you're doing item pickups, for example, this could show the item thumbnail, the item description, item name. Uh, the amount, whatever it may be, you can show it on here. As long as you put an input in here, you can display it on your notification itself. But we're just doing something very basic, we should make it so it's in text. So I'm going to change it from boolean to text, and there you go, it's now an input here. So on notifications here, we're going to add that notification to the system. So let's go into a notification UI and click on the text. And the text is the thing that's going to be changing. So tick is variable on the text and name it something more appropriate. So I've called my notification text. At least I would if I could spell it correctly. There we go. And I'm gonna go and click compile. Next, we're gonna go into the graph and on the event pre-construct, we're going to drag notification text out and choose get. And we're gonna add a new variable on here and it's going to be text to show and that'd be a type text and the notification text we're going to do set text and the text to show will be the in text all being plugged into your pre-construct hit compile and that will make it so the text on the view here changes to wherever that value is so I could put a default value here saying default notification text and you can see it there so that will handle that that means that on the notification tray when I call this function I can then change the notification to uh, show that certain text uh, to be able to do that though the variable we set up here text to show needs to be editable and exposed on spawn so tick those two boxes and click compile and that will allow us to do the create widget and then choose the notification and see that input appear here and text to show will be plugged into that next we need to add this to our notification tray so back on design view click on the vertical box and we're going to name it the tray and tick is variable for now I'm going to delete these old ones don't need them uh, so the tray is still there we're going to go to the graph and you see tray is now in the variables drag this out and do add child to vertical box and the return value is going to be the content hit compile and that is it so now the notification is going to be added to the tray i.e the vertical box so that's that function but we're going to go into our hud and make another function in here to so go to graph and in here we're going to make a new function called add notification and we're going to add to the tray here so drag the tray out and then call the trays version of add notification sounds long-winded it just shapes say some shortcuts later on but totally optional this uh, so add notification needs the same input in this case, the data you want to show, so text to show, and that be plugged in like so, and hit compile. So our head up display now has that function, which calls the same function on the tray, which then calls the pre-construct on the notification itself. So now to actually test this out. To test this out, I'm going to go into my player character and set up a basic input on here, just to send notifications. So I'm going to do the F key, 
And every time I push the F key, I want to be able to send a notification to the game mode. So to do that, we're going to go and get the game mode. Uh, so on my begin play here, let's just move this out. Let's get a reference to the game mode. So get to game mode. Cast to first person game mode. And store it as a reference. By promote it to variable. And I'll call it my game mode. And then when I push the F key, we drag that variable out of my game mode. And from there, we can now get the HUD or heads up display and call that add notification function. If you didn't do it on the heads up display, it would mean that you'd get a tray out and then add the notification from there. But it doesn't really matter which way you do it. So text to show here, we'll make a certain text here. So test notification here and click compile. So now when I push play, I push F and you can see the notification appear. So how do you know which order they're being added in? Well, let's do this as a, a bit more data. So text to show, we're going to drag this out into format text. And we'll do a simple value in here. Let's do a, a simple integer. Int test, call it. And we'll do integer. And it starts off at zero. So int test, we'll do get. And then we'll say plus plus. So it increments it. And plug it into add notification. On the format text here, we're going to just going to drag in the uh, integer as a parameter here. So um, notification colon open curly bracket uh, int close curly bracket. We can now drag that as a parameter to your format text. I've got a video on how format text works. Um, if you look at my channel, you'll find a snack size video of how format text works. Hit compile. So every time I click the F key, the int test will increment by one. So it'll grow by one and it will show the that in the text. So you'll put the text into it, the number, in, sorry, the number into the text. So push play, hit F. And you can see notification one, two, three, four, five. So it goes on and on and on. And there you have it. Now you've got the in-game add notification. So you just drag that add notification to whatever you want to add notification to. Be it pick up items, killing enemies, whatever it may be. Uh, in the next episode, we'll do it so these things will also dynamically disappear and remove themselves from that tray. If you want to watch the next episode right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Ailey, where you can watch that episode plus many others, all from just $1 a month. Big thank you to everyone who's been supporting me. None of this would be possible without you guys, so thank you again so much. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.